Hello, Michael Smith. Welcome to the channel. And hello everyone out there tuning in. Uh, we are starting off a brand new series of No Man's Sky. So this is going to be episode number one, kicking off our new career. <laughs> We're starting off in a strange Asian alien world called Panazorgi Launap. I'm renaming this planet as soon as I can. Shield kinetic system online. Yeah. Scanner damaged. Repair required. I need to repair my scanner, apparently. Aerial propulsion jetpack online. Yay, we can jump. If that's what I think it is. I don't mind a beam attachment. User initialization sequence complete. Captain's log number one. Planet Panavorgi Launap in the Euclid Galaxy. We have landed here on a strange planet. Crash landed, I guess you could say. And um, I don't remember a whole lot. I'm not sure exactly where I came from, how I got here, what I'm doing. Or any of that. <clears throat> All that I'm pretty sure about is that that ship is mine. Let's take a look in my inventory. I have a multi-tool with some damaged components. Looks like the scanner and the analysis visor both need to be repaired. The Starship hyperdrive, the Starships, I should say, the pulse engine and the launch thruster are both damaged, which means I can't depart from the planet at this point. <clears throat> Uh, everything on my suit seems to be okay. So that's good, I suppose. Find your crashed starship and, and interact with it. Uh, I found my crashed starship. Vital launch and landing gear system. User is advised that plutonium is required to recharge the thruster. Launch procedures require sufficient fuel levels before activation. So I need to create some more of these carite sheets to fix. This thruster system. We got going on here. Some stuff. <clears throat> Shielding shard located in this here uh, drop. I need a level one Atlas Pass before I can get into that. And a Gek Charm. And what's this? Some damaged machinery. Looks like it's given us some new technology to use. So those will be useful. This planet that I'm on seems to be rather lush. Lots of dry grasses around. And I wonder what this debris is. Look at those creatures. Captain's Log, 1.1. Reality seems to fold in on itself. One moment, I can see debris. In another, a vast red orb, almost too large and too bright to behold. It knows me. Inside and out, more than I could ever m know myself. I'm paraphrasing here. Could this be the face of creation itself? Or, in my hazy, freshly awakened state, am I being manipulated? A name burns itself into my mind, Atlas. And a request, made without words, that I should follow the path this being, this Atlas, has set for me. Very well. We'll accept for now. It feels suffused with a warm glow of approval. Okay. So. We apparently set ourselves on the course to go find this atlas. Frank G. Finster has joined the channel. Hello, Frank. Welcome back. Nice to see you again. I'm glad I was able to get an early live stream in so you guys over in the across the ocean, across the Atlantic, could see it and enjoy it as well. 
Um, well, I guess there's nothing for it. We gotta get more carite sheets, and in order to make more of these, we need to find some iron. This is a funky, funky creature. Hey, we can destroy this for iron. Mining, mining, mining. This is a very large, dense rock. It will provide an ample supply of Orion. Michael Smith has joined the channel. Uh, hello, Michael, and is asking an excellent question. What you name the planet if you can? Uh, I have not named it yet. At the end of the episode recording, in between the next episode recording, we will go through an online naming of things, and I'll have your guys help me. So if you're tuning in live, you get to help me name everything that we find here. Boom! Oh my god, I'm being flooded with iron. And I can send these all to my ship already. Yeah. Oops. I have other things to send to my ship. That can go to my ship. That can go to my ship. Well, <clears throat> with that done, let's see about repairing our launch system. Uh, I don't... Oh. Q does something. Probably wax things. Um... <laughs> Okay, in order to charge the launch thrusters, we need plutonium. But while we're here on this alien planet, we should do some exploration, don't you think? So I need some carbon as well. I have fixed the analysis visor. That now allows me to scan things. Like a little flower. Satonica Bimenicia. Which I can destroy for carbon. Die, plant. <laughs> a little bit more iron oxide here. Not much. Now, let's zoom in and scan these guys. Ian Cor Comago. <laughs> that thing is ugly. At least they're docile. I already discovered one of those. Something called Ear Kite. Ian Core. A different thing. The plant of some kind. I can destroy it for carbon. Fair bit of carbon out of that. Um, don't need iron oxide really. I do need. Ooh, that sneeze snuck up on me. Good carbon. Okay. With my scanner repaired, we can take a look around and see what we actually see here. We have a deposit of that stuff. Oh, here we go. We have a deposit of energy source. Plutonium, which is an isotope. Hooray! Grab some of those for sure. Can I see another one over here somewhere? Yes. A large deposit right there. All right, with all this plutonium in our stuff, what's this? Some cargo drops. Well, this planet I'm on is not only inhabited by alien uh, animals, but something with some intelligence, as there's a drone flying around. What's this? It, 
identifies itself as a knowledge stone. I have learned the Gek word for give. The Gek? Apparently, the Gek are a thing that exists. Nice support power. No. We found some zinc. Oh, there's something over here. Looks like night's falling on us. Where'd it go? There it is. Aha! The scanner is very useful. Ooh, also. A new plant species we haven't discovered before. Got a little bit of plutonium. A fascination bead. And a power canister. All right. Well, I have successfully misplaced my ship. Now, I know that there is a blue bar saying I have unredeemed items. That is my special pre-purchase ship, but if I actually um, claim that, I will fast forward a bunch of the story and might get stuck. Frank, Fist Frank Fencer's pizza has just arrived. And I agree, that is definitely fortuitous timing. That's an interesting snooting sound that that thing made. All right, <clears throat> what's on the agenda? Fueling up the launch thrusters, yes. With plutonium. We have managed to pull in a full charge with some plutonium to spare. Oops, wrong button. X transfers those things. Um, I'm gonna grab this iron. I think. No. <clears throat> my sh my suit can carry 250 units of something. Apparently, my ship can carry 500 units of something. So that is good to know. Now what? Space flight. Space space flight propulsion. Boosts and on-demand pulse jumps through local system. Users advised that Thamium-9 is required to charge the pulse engine. Mm. In order to fix it, I need a bunch of, bu bunch of Peridium and two more Carite sheets. All right, fine. Should be able to make these at least. Now I need to find Peridium. Ooh, and there's a cave. And there's a funky structure. Tequandii sidiusum, decidius me. Make sure I can keep an eye on my chat here in my time. So, huh? Hey, what? What? <clears throat> there's something over here. kind of plant. Whoa! What am I standing in the middle of? Carbon. That gives me zinc. Man. There's some brightly colored foliage around here. Already discovered that. Thankfully, we found ourselves on a rather lush planet, so I don't have to worry too much about finding resources. So it seems. <clears throat> and there is a spaceship flying over, so we are in an inhabited system of some kind. Every bit of information is another bit of information that we didn't have before. Some of these plants' roots are not in the ground, says Michael. Can I get anything? I can get carbon out of here.
I overheated my gun by firing too long. <clears throat> there we go. This probe seems to be quite interested in what I've done. Seems to be watching me very closely right now. in that cave. Okay. <clears throat> We're getting a little overwhelmed with information, actually. Life support power. No. Let's go ahead and just make sure we keep that nice and charged. Technology recharge. It charges readily with carbon and doesn't even take very much. Another knowledge stone. I have learned the Gek word for high. More ships flying over. Wow, look at that purple, like that pinkish purpley sky. Crazy. We can pick up some Thamium for free. What the heck is that? All sorts of stuff here. We already have that discovered. Heridium! <clears throat> That's convenient. Apparently we need 200 of this stuff. And there's a silicate. One thirty eight of two fifty. Uh oh. That's the multi tool. Which can also be charged with carbon. Thankfully. Carbon being one of the most abundant um, atoms in the universe. <clears throat> If I remember correctly, many different stars end their production line at carbon. <clears throat> How am I doing on the heridium front? 220 of it. Frank is asking, uh, is there a character picture of yourself in the game, or is there a sort of character creation at all? Uh, the answer is no. There is no character creation that I know of. Um, like, I literally started on this planet next to my ship. When I very first launched the game, uh, I didn't even see a menu or anything, like, you know, create new game or anything. It's just, boom, right here. We have repaired our pulse engine. And fueled it with a little bit of thamium. We have a somewhat dramatic musical score change to go with it. So our only remaining goal is to re refuel our launch thrusters, which we've already done, I think. Haven't we? Yeah, those are fully fueled. And ready to go. <clears throat> but in the meantime, we'll do a little bit of exploration. What's this? It's a timid little bug-like creature.
There we go. Our starship is repaired. There's a whole bunch of stuff over here. That I want to look into. Somewhere. Have I already scanned you? Here. Something called a Posoda Sagidium. Uh. I have to blast my way in here. Hopefully I can find my way out again. Gold! And we are now in a new ecosystem as we find ourselves underground. Plutonium, more gold. Yeah. Where was that little hole that got it that we got in on? There it is. Still stuck in the hole. Am I? Uh, oh my goodness. Okay. <clears throat> huh. That cave was really rough. Maybe it was one of the earlier stages of the large creature we saw because it was juvenile, says Michael Smith. Yeah. That's true. There are juvenile, I would imagine. There are juvenile versions of a creature. <clears throat> okay. Still need Thamium. Well, we have enough for now. I think, I hope. Let's make sure all of our other stuff is well charged. Life support. Throw some plutonium out of that, I guess. Because I don't have any carbon right now. So here's our funky little ship. <clears throat> Board ship and take off. I think we're ready. All right. Hooray! <clears throat> I'm happy to report that our ship is airborne. While we're here, let's, let's see the sights. Fly my starship into space. There's a huge lag chunk. Okay. <clears throat> this planet defies physics, as there are islands floating in the sky. I don't see anything. As of yet. Can I scan? 
hit. Ah, uh, see, it revealed something. Let's fly down here. appears to be something of interest on this hilltop. A communications antenna of some time? There's very little else around here. What's this? Whoa! Advanced life form detected. In some outpost. <clears throat> Take a look for these supplies and see what we can find. The night and day cycle is pretty quick, Michael. You are correct. <clears throat> Where's my ship? I'm gonna thrust over my ship again. I know that every time I take off, it uses a fair bit of fuel just to get airborne. But I think checking out this advanced. Oops. Dang it. I hit the wrong button and I landed. <laughs> Um, we are going to need to just put some more juice in that goose. Here's some sort of settlement over here. Uh, correction, some sort of abandoned settlement. Those strange fungus. Derelict abandoned building. Captain's Log 1.2. It looked like a wound on the world. <clears throat> Crimson and ragged edged. Like something that once lived but was then torn asunder. I should have stayed away. Had I the senses to taste the air of this planet, I imagine it would have reeked with some kind of alien fetor. But nothing could stall my curiosity. Was it dead? Where I touched it, the surface was moist and yielding. It seems to become motile then, crawling on a mat of slow cilia, moving from me. I should have left it alone. Something has been left that will aid me on my discovery. Ooh, a new technology. I can get a razor, uh, radiation deflector. Tau. Get an Atlas Pass for that. What else is there in here? Damaged machinery, that's always good for something. A new technology discovered. Advanced cooling sigma. money. At least I'm assuming that's money. Units. Alright, let's get out of here. 
continue on towards this advanced life structure or something. <clears throat> Floating islands. They're all lined up in a row. It's pretty funny. to be a creature of some kind over there. What do you have to say? <laughs> Navigator Ubi. <clears throat> uh, I have no idea what you're saying except for this word give. Captain's Log 1.3. A small creature is a busy adding up trade profits when I appear. Its eyes open wide in anticipation of our first contact, and it rubs its fingers together greedily. It pecks empathically at the monetary figures on its pad, then bounces up and down. I ha can't help but notice that it smells amazing. The life form is clearly thrilled. It's getting something in exchange. I got a phase beam technology out of the deal. And my standing with the Gek has increased. Site RU8. It's the galactic trade thing. Oh, nice. So, Geknip is a trade commodity. And <clears throat> I can sell that. I only have access to my exosuit in here, I guess. Money made. That looks like it's locked. Yep, need Atlas Pass version 2 to get past that. We're over here. This is the landing pad. Ooh, it's over here. Also. All sorts of goodies. Cargo drop. Jettison pod. My suit inventory is full. <clears throat> ah, wrong button. Let's go do some more trades, I guess. Units received. Units received. Anything else I want to sell? Let's get charm. I have a fair bit of money now. <clears throat> Didn't I see something else over here? Yes. Journey milestone accomplished. New business earned 60,392 stuffs.
And that is going to be it for episode number one. Tune into episode number two and we see about getting ourselves off this planet. If you're here live, though, stick around. We have some resources to name. So hang tight for that.